Hi guys, welcome back. It's a new year and we're going to make a new bug. <laughs> you guys have seen me do glitter bugs or scarabs before. Um, I've done a couple of them and I will link those tutorials in the descriptions below. A variety of different ways of doing uh, beautiful bugs. So if you are a bug fan or if you know somebody who is, you'll like this one. <laughs> so I'm just using a regular Lake Superior Stone, not regular, beautiful. And I'm painting it black. And I'm just making sure that the sides and the top are completely black. And I'm going to use a sponge in order to get rid of all of those paint strokes because I don't like them. <laughs> We're going to be using some metallic watercolor over top and the metallic actually really sinks into all those little brush strokes. So we're going to want to make sure that we sponge them all out first. So you can see it's dry. I'm using one of my homemade uh, sets. I will be putting these into the shop along with six other colors. Um, and I'm just going to show you what I do with it. So I'm using a water pen, which I got from Amazon. And it's just an empty pen with a little paintbrush at the end. And you fill it up with water. And you just kind of squeeze it lightly to let a little bit of water out. And the water activates the little paint buttons that I've made. So I'm using pink, like a goldish orange look. Some of these are color shift as well, so they change completely under a different light. Um, now you can see some of my pink and purple are running because I've used too much water. So you got to be really careful with the amount of water you're using because if you use too much, it does kind of go all over the place. But if you're careful, <laughs> you'll be able to control it a little bit. And I do tend to pick my rocks up and, and turn them and move them and make sure that the colors aren't bleeding together and you can't see them because I still want to see all the separate colors. So this one it looks are deceiving. It looks kind of like a, a brownish pink color, but when you put it on here, it's like glistening sparkles of teal and it's just beautiful. Um, I love this stuff. And when I seal it with resin, it doesn't budge. It stays exactly where I put it. Once it's dry, it's there. If you get it wet with water, like if you spritz it with a water bottle or something, it will move around, um, but it stays put when I seal it with resin. So I don't know if it's the same for people who use a spray, um, but I haven't had any issues with any of my rocks being sealed. And I do like to spray it with, a, it's a fine mist of water and it just kind of blends everything together nicely at the very end. Just make sure you don't use too much. So there is a very uh, shimmery chrome look to the handmade watercolors that I made uh, in this set. So they're very shiny. Um, so it is dry now and we're, we're working with black paint, but see how shiny that is? It's gonna look totally different when we seal it with resin. Um, it's gonna have a whole different look, but right now it kind of looks shiny, shiny and sparkly. Um, but we'll see, we'll see it change. So when I do my bugs, I separate the head from the body and I just do a black line. I will be using some gold on here and I do the line fairly thick. So you do it how you want to. I just kind of like to separate the, the head and the body away from each other because they're not attached. I don't want them to be attached. Not all the way anyway. <laughs> now I am just going around the outside because we're only going to do um, just barely around to the bottom of the rock. This rock is fairly flat, um, but you can do this on any kind. You can make your own rocks. You can make little oval shaped rocks or even round ones. Um, you can turn a lot of different rocks into bugs. Um, but any any shape, you can just work with it. Just do what I'm doing and, and you'll figure it out. It doesn't have to be the exact same shape that I'm working with today. So I'm outlining where I just uh, just, just cut everything off in black, cleaned it up because of course some of that color does run down, right? So I've, I've cleaned it up with black and now I'm lining the colored metallic area. I'm just lining it with gold. You'll be able to see it. 
uh, very soon because I'll hold it up to show you. This is how I do all my bugs. Although this is a little bit different. This is going to be a little bit different. The eyes are going to be different this time around. Um, but yeah, and and this glitter is going to look amazing. This watercolor is going to look really, really pretty. So I will be putting uh, this watercolor set into my shop probably um, as soon as I post this video. I'll be posting stuff into my Etsy shop. So I will leave the link to my Etsy shop uh, in the description of this video. And if you're interested in trying out any of my handmade watercolors and making a bug using the same colors, you'll be able to do that too. Um, but if not, there uh, are so many different things that you can create with this metallic watercolor and each one has its own uh, special unique quality like there might be a little bit more glitter to one color but another color has like this amazing sheen that you can't even explain um, or a color shift or something beautiful about it um, so each one is very different and uh, and each one is very beautiful and there's multiple uses out of a card of paint buttons like I have probably painted 50 to 60, maybe even more rocks with backgrounds um, using metallic watercolors all from one card of buttons. <laughs> so they last a long time. You don't need a lot. A lot goes, a little goes a long way, I should say. Now, um, my eyes are a little funny this time around. You guys aren't used to seeing this shape of eye on my scarabs. But I thought I would do something. I'm, I'm trying to make it look fancy, um, a little fancier. And I wanted to change up the eyes a little bit and give them a little more gold and uh, give them like a little frame around the eyeball. So we'll work with that. You'll see. <laughs> now, of course, I have to separate the head, the black. I have to make sure that we have that gold line there because his head needs gold line and it's going all the way around the wings too is that what we call them wings are they wings I'm not sure he flies but yeah <laughs> we'll call them wings he's gorgeous he's gonna be all he has to do is sit there and look beautiful so it doesn't really matter if his wings work so I'm just gonna make sure I outline his wings and I've put um, make sure you put two coats of black paint over top where that center is between the two wings because or else you will see the glitter. You will see the glitter come through there. So here's the frame around the eyeballs. I'm just using my fine lining brush that I made myself and the tutorial for that is in the description of this video. So you can learn how to make a paintbrush just like this. It's my life. It's my lifeline. I use it on every single stone that I create and I sign my signature on the back of them with this one too. So, and I make them all the time that someday I'm hoping to be able to offer them in my Etsy shop as well. So I'm just thinning out some of the gold and I'm going to dot that with gold on the inside. You'll see that in a moment. I'm just going to try and evenly dot the frames around the eyeballs. That's what I'm going to call them. <laughs> It's going to look so pretty when it's done. I am going to be using some holographic nail powder on the eyes. Um, and so you need like a gel top coat that is cured under a UV light for people who do gel nails or like to do their own nails at home. You'll have all the equipment you need. You just need to find holographic powder. And I will leave a link in the description for where I got mine off Amazon. And you just cure the top coat. I paint the top coat over black paint, then cure the top coat, and then I rub the holographic powder on with a makeup sponge. And that gives it like this really cool holographic effect. Makes it look even more buggy, even more buggy. <laughs> It's going to look really cool though, I promise. I know a few of you have seen one of these already and that's the whole reason why there's a tutorial out because I had a lot of people asking. <laughs> I never think like you guys want to see another bug. Haven't you seen me do a bug before? 
But then I get so many people requesting and I just can't say no. So here's a bug. <laughs> Why not? I don't know what to do. It's the new year and I, was, I wasn't really sure uh, what to uh, create right now. So why not? Let's get some use out of our metallic watercolor <laughs> that we're creating. Um, I know I just want to thank a few people also that have purchased my paint buttons in my Etsy shop and they're letting me know what they think of them. Uh, a couple of people said that they broke in the shipping process um, and that really upsets me. So I'm going to have to rethink my shipping process and how secure everything is before I ship it off because um, I don't want people to end up with broken paint buttons. So um, I just want to thank the people who've let me know what they think so far. And uh, if you did receive broken paint buttons, make sure you let me know so that I can make it up to you. Um, cause I definitely didn't want that to happen. That's my hard work and money and time definitely didn't want them to break before you got to use them. So please let me know in my Etsy shop if you purchased and I'd be happy to replace them for you. Now I'm using a dotting needle. You can use a toothpick. It's that tiny at the end. Um, and I'm just using gold paint to just make a little, um, dotted body underneath those wings and I went as evenly apart as possible, um, but it's not perfect. I'm not really worrying about it being too perfect. Now we're gonna just put simple dots on the body. I know I've gone all out on the body before on the dots, but this time I just wanna focus more on the colorful background and the pretty eyes and the almost like, um, kind of reminds me of a little brooch you know what I mean? That would be on a really fancy um, scarf or, or something on a fancy evening. <laughs> I want it to be beautiful. So I'm just making sure. I did do black first right here, but I covered it with gold. I can still see the black just behind it. Um, so it looks like it's been outlined in black, but really we just did the black thicker than the gold. So I'm making sure... Everything is outlined properly. Everything, my gold is, is nice and thin in places like uh, in the frame of the eye. The gold is really thin. Um, and then I did evenly spaced dots around the frame of the eye and really simple black dots on the wings. And I'm letting those black dots dry and I'm just going to put smaller gold dots on top once the black's dry. So while we're waiting for that black to dry, we're going to do the gel UV top coat that I was telling you about. Um, I just used this dotting tool to move the gel polish around and make sure that it's right up against the frame because uh, sometimes the brush for the gel polish is really thick and it doesn't go in those little areas and you don't want to get it anywhere that it doesn't belong. So I'm going to cure that gel top coat under my light for 60 seconds and I'm using holographic powder with a like a makeup sponge. They usually come with one of these when you buy them uh, online or on Amazon. They usually come with a little sponge so that you can apply it. Uh, and look at that. It's beautiful. I usually dust it off with a little, I call it my desk broom, which is just like a fan brush, um, a fan paint brush. And I just brush off the extra powder and when we seal it it's just going to be shiny and the same texture as the rest of the bug so it's going to look totally different from the rest of the body the design or the the look of the eyes it's going to really stand out from the rest of the body it's not exactly the same as the body so i'm letting this dry i'm going to resin it and show you stuff at my desk so you might have seen these already on Facebook or Instagram, but these are hand-drilled, hand-painted Lake Superior pendants that I will be putting into my shop. I have about uh, six, possibly eight of them going into my shop soon. Um, these are gorgeous. The watercolor on them, it just 
makes them so special to me. <laughs> the glitter, uh, they're absolutely beautiful. It just kind of opened my eyes up to a whole bunch of other stuff. This is one of my handmade uh, blue glitter watercolors in the background of this. It's so simple, but you know, all you need is a word on it or a small flower and it's gorgeous. Someone would be so happy to have that gifted or to find that somewhere. Um, I've used watercolor metallic on this one as well. Flowers, yin yang, color, gold, can't go wrong. <laughs> I've also made keychains using watercolor background. Of course, it always works best over black matte acrylic paint. It always works better. So keep that in mind. Always do a black background first. And then once it's dry, careful about the amount of water you use because you don't want to lift your black paint. Here's our buggy. Look at that. My camera wouldn't stop shaking. I had to hold it. <laughs> so that it would stop jiggling so that I could show you the bugs. It is all shiny. And I've done a couple more to show you. Each one has been done with my handmade watercolors. Uh, this one's done with the same exact colors I used on the one we did throughout this video, only I put them in a different place. So I just changed the color up a little bit, but they're both using the same paints. Exact same, pretty much the same size. Um, one's a little bit bigger, but they look totally different when you use different a different technique. So this one I've done using my a different set of uh, glitter paint buttons. Um, it's still watercolor paint buttons, but the glitter's a little bit bigger. It's like micro fine, but it's beautiful and it, it does change things up. So I did make those buttons as well. And you can do so many things just with a little bit of paint. Uh, like I said, it does go a long way. Both of these, um, two of these have been done, like I said, with the same set of six. So you can do so much. You can paint them diagonally. You can paint them in an oval like I did. Um, you can paint them just like a rainbow all the way across the rock and then do your bug design after that. Um, these are the uh, ones that I used for this kind of bug. And once again, a little goes a long way, but because the glitter is bigger, you need more of it to fill in the spaces. So it does work just fine though, as you can see. <laughs> These are so beautiful, you guys. I had so much fun making them. I hope that I've inspired you in some way as well. I hope that you're opening your horizons when it comes to using different paints and different mediums. These are gorgeous. I just love them. I want to know what you think, so make sure you leave a comment uh, for me. Let me know. Give me some ideas for 2022. I love you guys. Keep painting. I will see you soon. Happy New Year.